What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Get into the re another reaction. Jesus, I can't fucking talk. I didn't think I was gonna watch another one, but we're gonna watch fucking another one because holy shit, that first episode of Ninja Kamui was insane. I was not expecting all that. The animation was fucking ridiculous. The hand-to-hand -hand combat is already fucking pulling me in. I mean, that shit was insane. That shit was so fucking good. I was just, I was telling myself, yeah, like, okay, we got my usual lineup of shows done. We watched those. Okay, let's let's at least get Ninja Kamui when we started, right? Let's watch the first episode and then call it a night. Nope, we're watching one more. And I hope, I mean, I don't know, like this this second episode might be just as good as the first, but I feel like we might get a little bit more of backstory and a little bit more of a, you know, not as much crazy fighting going on. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm hoping we get, you know, a little bit of conversation, some backstory, what's really going on with this organization, who they really are, you know, who this main character, I'm assuming our main character, the, uh, you know, husband of these two, uh, his wife and son that just got murdered, that were a part of this organization, him and his wife. Hope we learn more about him as a whole and, and his character and really learn what the fuck's going on. So I hope we take a little bit of a step back from the action and do a little bit of a deep dive, maybe some talks, maybe some, you know, character development, a little bit of just maybe a more dialogue focused episode this episode. I wouldn't mind that. I'm kind of hoping for it because if there's any more of crazy fucking action and a cliffhang, then, oh my God, I'm going to want to watch another one. But I think I'm going to cut it off. I think I'm going to cut it off on episode two. We're going to get this episode done. Watch this, record this react and then call it a fucking night and actually get some editing done so that's my plans and uh you know ah uh, dude i'm fucking loving it dude so I don't, I don't really have much else to say first episode what an amazing premiere absolutely fucking amazing like insane premiere so much so that we're going ahead and watching one more episode when i didn't think i was going to so Without further ado, let's get into the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Ninja Kamui, episode two. Okay, like I thought, some information. In the land of the rising sun. Leave the jurisdiction of Japan and fall under a new authority of a greater power. So this is why they were over in America. We do this for the future of Japan. So this is a clan. Branded exiles and exterminated. So that's exactly what happened to yeah this this guy and his family and all those other people that we saw murdered. They they try to leave that organization or the clan. They tried to leave the clan. Clan of ninjas. I mean that's basically literally the, the description of a ninja. He's having nightmares. <laughs> Wait, the cat can talk? That fat ass cat is somebody? Oh, wait, never mind. Whew. I don't know why I, I exhaled like that. Like, I was so worried about a cat being a person. It wouldn't be that surprising in an anime. Okay, opening. I don't think we got the opening last episode. Gas, bro! I'm fucking with it! Let's fucking go, bro. Wait, so it's... Sung Hoo Park is the one that directed this, and he's a part of Solo Entertainment, so it's a, really a combination of... A Korean animation studio, a Japanese animation studio, and an American animation studio. That's crazy! Of stark awareness. Hmm, interesting. Someone, someone might have held back on that stabbing because he got stabbed in the back. He should have died from that, but he didn't. Hmm. 
Say shit they get there. <laughs> yeah, old man's uh, voice actor is very familiar too. He's played a lot of old characters. I just like old older people characters. I just can't remember who comes to mind. He's yeah. I was thinking maybe he's actually gonna get in touch with the FBI and start working with them. Because the people that I, I wonder why they came over to America and started wor working for who though? Because because of all the work that they've been doing. The news outlets and everybody, the media is looking at these people as a terrorist organization. How many stabbings can you fucking take? Damn! How much blood can you lose? Oh my god! Mm. Yo, his voice actor fits this role so well. God damn. Talk about torture, bro. There's no way he lives after this, right? Like, that was the final shit? Like, you're dead now? Ain't no way. Direct order from up top. They've they had higher up officials have already gone to talk to her to tell her to shut the fuck up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no shit. They're all part of the same clan, bro. But they came over to America for- they came over to- him and his family came over to America or whatever to fucking get away from them. But it just so happens that... We got in the beginning that the clan had to start working together with foreigners and that their secrets are going to be revealed because of where they're going. And they're here in America. They're t was- did they only come over here just to get rid of people that were trying to run away from the clan? But it seems like they might be working with the FBI or something because the, F the, the higher ups of the FBI are trying to shut this case down. Like they're telling that dude and Emma like, yo, chill the fuck out. The order came from up above, like, shut up. Like, you're not involved in this case anymore. Definitely some shady shit going on. There's definitely some shady shit going on. What is he looking for? Is he looking for like a hideout? <laughs> Stupid ass cops. <laughs> Wow, they're really uh, nailing the fucking asshole personality of most cops in America. Holy shit. Didn't even punch him. Oh my fucking god. You were fucking with the wrong guy. Oh, he's thinking. He's still thinking about calling him. <laughs> She's using an Oculus. Oh, he's calling him. Mike Morris. Oh, 
長老眼なんて名前のやつは存在しないお前何者だよっしゃおトラックよっしゃおトラックよっしゃおトラックよっしゃおトラックよっしゃおトラックよっしゃおトラックよっしゃおトラックよっしゃおトラックよっしゃおトラックよっしゃおトラックよっしゃおトラックよダメージ、ロケーションを作ってくれるのは、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、Where there's still like real life shit going on that we can relate to, but there's ninjas in this world that are insanely fucking badass. Like, holy shit. Like, the whole VR thing, like, VR is making huge advancements in real life right now, too. Don't even mention AI. I mean, AI is making huge advancements as well. He's looking for, he's looking for help, subordinates that he brought with him by any chance. <laughs> Dinner rush, yeah, there's nobody here. Mushkashara, <laughs> 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 余計な話をするつもりはない。Bro, his voice actor is so fucking goaded, bro. 一連の事件の犯人について手がかりは得たか。何？些細なことでもいい。さあ尋ねるわ。俺が重要参考人と取引するように見えたか。お前を。But you ain't gonna do shit with that gun, I promise you. 膝をついて両手を頭の後ろで組め。出ろ。病院で何やった？安西です。ヨウザエビチリマーボドフ。It's like DoorDash. <laughs> Bro, you're not doing shit, buddy. You don't know who you're fucking with. He's got allies, baby. Or no, someone's trying to kill him. Bro, this show's animation is so fucking good. Bro, you have one gun. What are you doing? You're not even gonna hit them. See, like, now he has to try and save your life. You're making more work for him. Oh my god, yeah, this dude's old man's shop is gonna be fucking destroyed. Yeah, hand signs and shit? Okay, yeah, this is basically ninjutsu, secret arts. Oh my goodness! Ashura? Damn! The soundtrack's gas too. Wait, there's two of them? Shadow clone no jutsu? Bro, what the fuck is going on, bro? Oh my god, yo, this shit is so good. This FBI agent is just looking in, the, he's witnessing this, like, what the fuck is happening? Pecking duck? All the serial murders? Yeah, this dude's shop is fucked. This dude's shop is absolutely fucked, bro. If you had any business, it's gone. RPG, this bitch? Oh, yeah, no, sorry, dude. 
I hope you never come back from that 30 minute walk because you're gonna come back to your fucking shop absolutely destroyed. Holy shit, bud. Are we gonna see his reaction? Is he gonna come back and be like, what the fuck? I'm saying, you don't know who you're fucking with. Is Alza, is this company Alza that makes all these technology advancements linked to the ninjas somehow? Because he was just asking himself, who the fuck made this blade? No way! That's already the end? Holy shit, this shit is flying by, bro. This shit is so new and fresh to me, I'm loving it. Damn, man, I want to watch another one, but I think I gotta call it a night there. It's getting late. I'm getting a little how loud and hype. I'm gonna continue to get loud and hype. You know, I'm not trying to fucking do that to my neighbors, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they need to get some sleep, too. Okay. Wow, what another gas episode, though. I can't fucking complain. This shit is amazing. Alrighty, guys. What another amazing episode of Ninja Kamui. Second episode in the books. Like I thought, we got a little bit more of a backstory. Not in, to, into to totality or anything. We got a little bit more of info about what's really going on here. And uh, who this ninja is that uh, his family was murdered. And, you know, he's running away from this organization or clan, I should say, uh, to try and live a normal life which obviously did not work in his favor because they eventually found him, killed his family, and now he is, you know, I guess trying to seek revenge or, you know, a, you know, deal with them in his own way as much as he can get away with because obviously he's very fucking strong and talented. I mean, this dude's a fucking badass. So anyways, we got in the beginning of the episode a little bit of a, I guess, a monologue from sort of a narrator or, you know, a higher up or something within this clan. This is a clan of ninjas, uh, or, you know, just like, I mean, it, really when they say ninja, like they, they are literally ninjas. Like they're like hitting the like true definition of it where, uh, you know, they're from Japan. Uh, they are born into this life. They cannot escape this life. If you try to abandon it, if you try to escape, you will be, or if you, you know, try to exile yourself, you will be found and you will be eliminated. So all the real, like, you know, foundations of being a ninja, it's all within this. And I like how I mentioned in this reaction as I was, you know, seeing the cities and, you know, the description of these places and where they're at in America and the FBI there uh, and also the VR stuff. It's like, it's very interesting to me because these are, we're like focused on ninjas, right? Like the, the main power, power scaling or the the main fighting that's taking place or the main you know uh people that are fighting each other or whatever uh the ones that are actually like the badasses in the show are actually ninjas right you know but like we're in like a modern setting of like the the universe of this show is set in a modern world like the world that we can relate to like and especially in this case like they're in america so we're seeing like the roads that he's driving down on a motorcycle it's like he was in like las vegas or something like that where there are these just long ass roads in the desert you know those kind of sceneries and then also the cities you know how there's all these big billboards and stuff like that and you know the the relation to the vr technology that is getting better and better uh you know that's also something that's very relatable to today's time in our world not only in america but just the world in general with technology advancing uh, a lot of the focus is on vr uh, or augmented reality um, and also AI. So, you know, that 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 being kind of a relation into this show is very interesting. The fact that there's ninjas in it and then also this, you know, kind of uh, it's coinciding with like modern day civilization. You know what I'm saying? Whereas like if you think ninja is the only thing that I think of, you know, that comes to mind recently or like probably the first one that comes to mind for most people is Naruto where Naruto is it's completely own universe. Like it's completely separated from uh, our modern world and reality. And we can't really relate to it at all in terms of the real world. Maybe like some, you know, simple things like personality or, or you know, talk no jutsu, you know, <laughs> fucking like some ideals and morals and stuff like that you can relate to in Naruto. But in terms of their world, their universe in that story, uh, the countries and everything, it, it doesn't relate to ours at all. It's completely made up. Whereas this, 
is set within our real our, our real world and it like kind of relates to our you know surroundings but there's ninjas in it and it's fucking badass like this shit is dope as fuck so pretty much we see him on the move or, or at first in the beginning of the episode he went to this guy that he knows that apparently is a doctor to you know fix him up because you know he should have been dead as the doctor said and he knew that full aware himself like he should have been dead from that stabbing in the back or even also that you know secret art that he used that like fucked with his arm and i don't know he went crazy or something and so obviously we got some confirmation within this episode that that is basically ninjutsu you know the secret arts you know and he even used a couple hand signs in that fight with the bar scene brought out extra arms on his back and i mean there's all kinds of crazy shit going on this shit is lit bro so we saw him in the beginning get patched up by the doctor where at that place he also had this guy that uh, was leading most of these missions to uh eliminate these people that had uh left the clan he was interrogating him torturing him and obviously didn't really get much information out of him but just tortured the fuck out of him i don't know how much blood a human can lose but if ninjas are any different or if he was using some sort of fucking art to stay alive longer but god damn he was getting stabbed the shit out of like how are you still alive and then the icing on the cake he just lights him on fire with all the gasoline that he doused on him i mean holy shit so it gets done with that uh starts to kind of just wander on his own uh, find whatever clues he can or just you know just basically wandering and then he keeps on he's, he keeps on looking at the business card that he got from that FBI agent and keeps on debating whether to call him or not. And so he finally does after, you know, being in a bar, just trying to get a drink and chill for a second. These two cops, <laughs> they nailed the fucking American cop personality pretty fucking well. I mean, uh, I, I'd like to believe that, you know, there's some good cops out there, you know, but it's just a sad uh, reality that at least in America, most of them don't really want to do anything of any of actually any good they have to meet a quota they're just trying to get their job done so they're always fucking annoyed they don't are not trying to actually help people you know what i'm saying like they're fucking most of them are scared you know what i'm saying like their first reaction is or you know and most of them for that matter abuse their power just like in this sense it looks, seems like they were like get, getting money from the bartender abusing their power in that way and also thinking that their shit just doesn't stink and they can fuck with anybody well sorry bud you can't fuck with a ninja i'm gonna fuck your shit up that's exactly what he did and he didn't even punch the guy he just just the force just the fucking velocity from his punch set him flying into the bar like excuse me oh dude that was satisfying but yeah they nailed that fucking cop personality down pretty well i mean he comes in fucking looking at some random girl's ass like nice ass honey uh fucking touching it and shit uh, i don't i think he did i don't did he i don't know i wouldn't be surprised and uh also like the fucking tone of voice that that one cop was talking to our ninja main character here which i th he said his name is pecking duck i don't know that must be a code name or something but logan we'll call him and uh you know really like talk down on him like that you know you, you shouldn't be doing that you know any fucking you know saying boy and all this shit like really like condescending tone that like a lot of cops have uh if you uh have ever dealt with that which is pretty nice that they fucking nailed that i mean i guess that i mean like i guess they're nailing a lot of the or combining a lot of these animation styles with since there's different studios like it seems like one of them's from korea one of them's from japan one of them's from america so anybody that is in the american studio that's working on this it seems like they can work together and kind of like nail down these personalities or you know certain things that are in america pretty well because they have a studio of american employees that live in america you know what i'm saying so it's very interesting how they nail some of this stuff and I, I feel like that's a beautiful advantage of them working together and having multiple studios from different countries working on this which is what it seems to be to my knowledge from what the research that i've done so that was really cool to see and then yeah he fucks those cops up so satisfying Pfft, light work easy as fuck and then he finally decides to call uh, the fbi agent and they set up a meeting and obviously they were trying to get his location while he's on the phone but he knows what the fuck you're doing you're not gonna get that shit fast enough like stop fucking around tell me a location boom done broke both of the phones can't find him so he goes to meet him and obviously the fbi agent's trying to get info and then also you know uh i guess logan would have been willing to share some info which at least he gave him enough where like i'm a ninja so are these folks here and then basically you know uh handled business with this one guy that was trying to attack him like there's two doors door door dashers basically door dashers it's so funny because that's literally what i've mainly done for work for the past couple years two door dashers come in to get their food or get orders or whatever two orders and then a third one comes in and the fbi agent is like oh the food's right there and then he looks and there's no food it's like oh shit this is not somebody here for food of course the skies 
himself as one of those delivery people and it's a ninja trying to take out logan once again and logan handles fucking business swiftly as usual i mean pulling out secret arts where he has arms on his back there's fucking flames being flown around the fucking hand-to-hand -hand combat the fbi agents just sitting here looking at this shit like what is happening as the audience us are as well <laughs> and you know takes care of him and uh you know was there even a clone at some point like shadow clone no jutsu like what the fuck's going on there i mean all kinds of stuff being pulled out in this little bar and that fucking geeks me the most is because the old man was like yeah yeah i told you to stop coming here during dinner rush when there's nobody there obviously uh and then he's like all right fine i'll leave for 30 minutes like you know don't fuck my place up too much all right bro the whole fucking building is <laughs> destroyed they shot fuck they shot it up with machine guns there's flamethrowers going on in there. They cut up all the tables and then finishing it off with a, a nice touch of an RPG. I mean, goddamn, that old man, you know, your shop's done, buddy. I'm sorry. Holy shit. Uh, but yeah, the FBI agent was, you know, thought he could get an upper hand and just point a gun at him and get, it, get him to do whatever he wanted. No, it don't work like that, buddy. You're not stepping up to no ninja with a fucking pistol. They, they don't, the, a pistol is the least of their fucking worries, okay? The least. So hopefully he learned his lesson there and actually, you know, navigates another conversation or another meeting with him if he does have another one with some more sense and, you know, actually realize you're not in control here, buddy. I don't give a fuck if you're an FBI agent or not. You're not the one in control. I promise you. So that was nice to see. And he got a little bit of info, at least on, you know, ninjas existing. And then there, he was looking at the scythe thinking like, who the fuck made this shit? Like it cut right through my armor plate pretty easily. Like, who the fuck made this? And then he, like, and then, like, that's where that, uh, Auza, like, the company that makes the VR technology and all that stuff and makes everybody's lives easier, apparently. That guy, um, is on, up on one of the billboards, like, still talking. And he turns around, like, almost like, maybe Auza's working together with the ninjas or something? Maybe? Something like that? Like, something shady, on, shady is going on with Auza as well. Like, somehow they're involved in this, all this shady shit. I think that was a little hit there, but, you know, obviously no confirmation or anything. So we'll have to wait on that. But that's pretty much where we left off. And then he, you know, just kind of observes what the FBI agent is doing for a little bit longer and then dips. I think that was about it. That's pretty much where we left off. And then, like, uh, I think somebody from the clan going up to a, a higher up saying he's still alive. And so it's just, you know, I guess reporting to, you know, another another failed attempt to kill Logan which is obviously not ideal for the organization because they want him dead, obviously, since he left. But he ain't gonna go down easy. That much is definitely fucking certain. He's not gonna go down easy. Holy shit, bro. Damn, man. What a good show. Good, good premiere, good first two episodes for me to get into this shit. This shit is gas, bro. I loved it. That's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If y'all did, please like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.